To understand the potential splitting of Africa, we first need to take a closer look at the East African Rift, a massive geological trench that stretches over 4,000 kilometers from the Afa Trip Junction in the northeastern Ethiopia down to Mozambique. This rift is a divergent tectonic boundary where the African plate is slowly pulling apart. Now, what is causing this rift? Tectonic forces are at play here, primarily the East African Rift System. The African continent is sitting on the African plate and the rift is the result of the African plate splitting into two parts due to the movement of the tectonic plate beneath the Earth's surface. The concept of continental drift is crucial to this discussion. Over millions of years, continents have drifted and shifted position on the Earth's surface. Africa itself has a rich geological history and the idea that it could split into two separate land masses is both out inspiring and a bit-minded bugging. So what does the scientific community have to say about this potential split? Why the process is extremely slow, with estimates ranging from millions to tens of millions of years, geological evidence suggests that the rift is indeed widening over time. Researchers use various methods, including GPS measurement and satellite imaginary, to monitor the changes in the region. Now let's talk about the implications. If the East African Rift continues to widen, it could eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean between the separation land masses. This process, known as rifting, is a natural part of the Earth dynamic geology, but the timescales involved are vast, making it more of a geological curiosity than an imminent event. While Africa is not splitting into two continents overnight, the East African Rift is a captivating geological feature that offers us a glimpse into the ever-changing nature of our planet. As researchers continue to study and monitor the region, we will gain valuable insight into these forces shaping the Earth's surfaces over geological timescales.